In this video I'm going to show how to connect the buttons to the interface control. And so first of all on the right hand side of the interface card you'll see a USB connector and that simply plugs into the, the USB connector and then uh, that goes into the USB port of your computer. Um, this can be really any length you want. Um, sometimes you have them close to the computer but if you've got a cluster of buttons it's sometimes not a bad idea to put the interface board close to the buttons and then run a longer USB cable to your computer to cut down on the number of uh, peripheral wires that are connecting to the buttons. So in this particular case we're looking at uh, momentary buttons. So uh, they come in a couple of different configurations. Uh, this is a PCB mounted type and they're quite often used in simulators but there's a lot of different button types um, and then we have some we have a single interface board here and, and this board just connects one button and so the button connects onto there and then you can solder your your header pins uh, onto the board here which will then get connected to the interface board uh, the other way to do it is you can use uh, an array of buttons this one contains uh, 12 buttons it's great for a, a PFD or an NFD, such as the Garmin uh, 1000. Um, again, we have a couple of different configurations. Uh, this one has six push buttons with two rotary encoders. So there's a, there's a number of different selections that you can use. So once you've got your button array configured, it really doesn't matter too much about which pin it connects to. Uh, because later on, when you do the programming on the, the simulator or the software itself, it's probably the best time to assign the buttons. But you'll see that the, um, there's instructions that come with the, the simulator, and it shows the pinouts, and these are the um, commands that are sent for a standard uh, button controller HID, a human interface device. And you'll see that it's, there's a common or a ground pin on each of the simulators and this is uh, normally this pin here, pin number one uh, and so that would be common to all the buttons and then the rest of the lines are the signal lines so if you're connecting say let's say we're connecting uh, three buttons together then all three buttons would be connected to the common line and then the other side of the button would be connected to one of those lines so if I was to draw that up quickly Imagine we've got a push button, and we've got, say we've got uh, three of those. First of all, we'd connect all of those to a common pin. So we'd have a wire running, and that would be our common. Then we would connect a wire to each of these to a separate pin. It doesn't really matter too much, but let's say we're connecting them to pins 8, 9, and 10. Certainly, we can crimp all the cables, so we can use a tool such as this and we can take uh, female uh, pins and then we can actually take our, our wire, we can use, uh, depending on the, the type of pin you use, normally uh, 22 gauge wire or 24 gauge wire, and then we would actually crimp all of those in, of course we would strip the cable and there's plenty of uh, videos on YouTube and, and different stuff about the best way to crimp a pin and you can go ahead and crimp those cables and you, of course you can uh, then connect it onto the board itself directly or um, you can use a, a casing such as this and then once they're crimped they just slide into the casing. There are also pre-crimped cables um, and you can use these a couple of different ways. Um, you can make up your own wiring harnesses by using the casings and the, the crimping cables, the pre-crimped cables, and simply insert those in. So these get inserted. Um, we, we take, if you look at the, the pin, you'll see that the wire and there's a, there's a, there's a ba what I call a base part of it, and there's a hollow part of it. Um, so you take where it's connected at that bottom and I say flat goes to flat. So it's flat at the bottom, the connector's flat here and you just simply, uh, make sure I get that the right way around, 
and slide that in to the to the hazard. And you'll hear it click if we're really just gonna hear that click. And once that click, you know that's mounted correctly, and you just give it a slight pull, and you, you know that you're safe there. So you can certainly make up those connectors, and once they're made up, those connectors can simply plug onto the standard casings, and then they can plug into whatever interface board that you have. Uh, for example, I've got an interface board here. I, I can plug those onto those header pins and uh, connect the board in, in such a way. The common rail or the ground rail is common to all buttons and you'll notice that on most of our boards you'll see that there are actually three pins and this particular board has uh, three pins on the top and three pins on the side they're exactly the same they're just mounted in a different location uh, depending on your configuration of your flight simulator and the reason for having three pins is two are ground or common and the other one is a signal pin. We can simply take one of these cables and we can move the ground from one cable to the other. So this way it can cut down on the cable lengths. Uh, um, you can also use uh, these types of cables and there's a couple of ways to do that as well. You can buy these in pre-cut lengths that are already terminated with the headers on them and this is a uh, ribbon cable and uh, these quite simply just plug in to the board and then you can take the other end and plug that into uh, in this particular instance we can plug it onto this board here and so you can end up with a, a, a connection such as that. If you wanted to uh, customise those as most uh, cockpit builders do then uh, these are uh, available in, in, in lengths of cable and then you can very easily make up your own uh, ribbon cable by using the ribbon cable, there's 10 wires on here and you can uh, crimp those using uh, these, these pins here and if you haven't seen how these work um, they quite simply, uh, you, you place the cable over the ribbon and you, you assemble the, the housings and the casings and once that's done you, you, you press down on that um, by applying hand pressure or putting some pieces of wood there and applying even pressure and you will then crimp out the cable. Um, another option is to use these, uh, these pre-crimped cables and they're really good and we, sell, we, we have those available in, in, in all different lengths but one of the things you can do is cut this cable in half and you cut it in half and you can um, strip the cable and you can then join that to another piece of cable so if I want to make this a long run um, I'll worry about my colours too much but I can take some cable and I can then also crimp the end of the cable here And then I can either twist those together, or of course it's it's much better if I if I solder those together and, and maybe use some um, heat shrink. But I can splice this cable, and I can do it at both ends. So I have the cable. I've cut this one in half. I can make this length whatever I need to do. Let's say I need to make that you know three or four feet, and then I can. both ends and then I can connect that to the other end. So effectively what I've done is I've put this piece of cable in between the middle of the cable to get a, a much longer piece of wire. Now you can connect these directly onto the pins. You certainly don't need to use the housings. They will go straight on there. Um, I recommend you using uh, mounting bases and these mounting bases uh, are very good. They, uh, they're adhesive on the other side uh, they simply uh, double-sided tape. They pull off, uh, stick on to uh, most, most, most things, and you take a cable tie, and the cable tie will then go through there, and then you can run all your cables, and then uh, simply uh, pull the cable tie. Uh, 
well thanks very much for watching please subscribe to our channel we've got some more videos on how to connect the board and program the flight simulator and controls on various simulators including X-Plane